Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back. I'm Debbie if you don't know me and in today's video we're going to be playing with the Nomad Cosmetics Whistler Snow Lodge palette. Very excited to create a look with this, it's one of the only palettes I've bought so far this year and I don't want makeup for a couple of weeks either so really excited to be filming today and to show you a look with this palette. So if you're not aware of the palette this is the beautiful shades inside. I haven't decided quite what I'm going to do with it yet but I think we're going to go for a blue look which is why I've got the blue top on. So without further ado I'm going to scoot you in and let's create a look with this beautiful palette. Okay so I'm going to prime with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to do a blue look as I say but I want to combine the, the bronze I think in this look. Because I've seen a lot of people do blue or blue and green looks which I don't blame them because that's the way that the palette leans but I've seen a lot of looks done with this palette because I've been a little bit obsessed with watching everybody create looks with it so I want to do something a bit different to what I've seen and maybe not go for the obvious. There's so much you could do with this palette actually and I'm really excited about the colour story but when you're just going to do one look in a video it's like what do you do so so yeah, definitely think that's what I'm leaning towards doing today. Something a little bit bronzy. Before I do anything, I want to put a blue in my waterline because I want a blue lower lash line. So I'm going to go with Cool Mood by LH Cosmetics. I'm going to do my lower lash line first because I want quite a, a graphic kind of shape today. So to create the shape, I'm going to go in with Snowmad, this one in the middle here. Not often I go straight in with a blue, but I do love a navy blue actually. And for those of you who are like, Debbie, why did you buy this? It's lots of blue in it, you hate blue. I think there's some really pretty shades because there's a lot of deeper blues in this one. Like the shimmer looks really interesting. And there's not that much blue, like there's a lot of other shades within the palette that I can kind of mix and match and do things with. So it was an interesting colour story to me and also I just love the brand. I love all of the imprints on the shades, I love the theme, I love the owners, just everything about this brand speaks to me. Right, so what I'm kind of try and do is create a shape that comes out, probably gone down a little bit more than I want it to. So I want to go outwards rather than my usual upwards. It's almost like muscle memory, I start to go upwards straight away and then I was like, no, I wasn't planning to do that today. Yeah, so I just want to go pretty much straight across. That's what I was after. And I'm only sort of sketching the the shape at the moment, not doing anything to blend it or anything. And I'm doing makeup today to take my mind off this horrible wind that's going on. So today is Sunday, but Storm Eunice came in on Friday and I had the day off. We were planning to go away to the Isle of Wight to go and see family. It was my father-in-law's 80th birthday. We've had it planned for months but we've had 75 mile an hour winds here. We weren't going to travel till Saturday, but it was just really bad on Friday. It's taken out four or five of my fence panels, so my garden's like completely like open to the street because we've got the corner plot and I just didn't want to go away leaving it like that. So we haven't gone anywhere. And I spent the whole of Friday just looking out the window going, please don't take my bar. So if you guys know, I've got an outside bar and I was so excited to get it built last year. So I wouldn't have wanted to lose that. Thankfully that's still standing and the fence needed doing really anyway so it's not too bad but it's just just a pain because we can't really go anywhere until we've got it repaired and I think there's going to be so many people wanting to get their, their fences repaired right now. So how are you guys if you're from the UK or anywhere that was in the path of Storm Eunice I know it went out towards the Netherlands as well and that way on its trajectory. How did you guys get on? Right, this looks really crazy, I'm aware. But I wanted to create that kind of shape and I wanted blue on the lower lash line. I'm gonna just blend just slightly underneath, but I don't want this to, to come down too low. I still wanna keep this kind of graphic shape, but it wouldn't hurt to soften like the, 
underneath there. But I don't want to add another colour or anything. I might do one or two looks with this palette over the next couple of weeks. But to get some content out for you guys, it's probably best if I just do one look per video. Otherwise, i will only be one video in about three weeks because I just never get the chance to film. Well, I could film, but I don't always want to. So it's a hobby for me. So I have to be in the mood to do it, you know. All right, I want to take the brown, gone skiing, this shade here in my crease, but I kind of want to make sure that it follows like this graphic shape and comes down. So I'm going to use a very, very small brush for this. And I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but this is what I want to do. So I'm meeting up with that that blue but coming in a outwards motion not an upwards motion and then I'm just going to use that brush to stamp the colour in my crease to start with I'm using really light pressure so it doesn't drag my, my ancient eyelids too much I'm just dabbing it really yeah, I think that's going to work okay. It's just perfecting the top of it and not letting it get too carried away because I want to keep this, as I say, quite a graphic shape. I want to keep it open at the front here as well. So I'm just bringing it down a little bit there but keeping that front part open because I do want to put a lighter shimmer there. So that's kind of what I want. Right out on that side as well. Say so a little at a time. Just figuring out the shape at the moment. But really wanting to keep things out rather than up with this wing shape. It's just fun to do something a bit different, you know, to what you always do. So those of you that are on a low buys and no buys like me, how's it going? Have you been tempted by anything? I'm tempted at the moment by the new Lois Cosmetics palette. The Meet Me at Midnight it looks beautiful. And again, it's blues, but what's going on, Debbie? You're into blues at the moment. Blue with purple, though, I just think looks beautiful. And it's an interesting palette because it's got a lot of different shades in it while still maintaining a colour story. I think it's very well thought out. Because when I'm going for a palette, I try to think about like how many looks I can make out of it and how versatile it is. So I'm not really into monochromatic colour stories that much, unless it's going to be like a quad or something like that. Right trying to get the shape when you're doing something graphic and a bit more like my 60s inspired I suppose shape is always a struggle for me but that's why I want to do it because that's what it's all about isn't it you can't stay in your lane all the time and do the same looks every time because that's just boring boring for me to do boring for you guys to watch so I'm trying to think of different things I can do to like spice it up a bit all right i like the shape actually i think it will come together once i've filled everything in so i'm trying to decide in this corner here do i want blue or do i want brown i think i'm going to go for the blue so i'm going to just press that blue into that outer corner and hope for the best that i don't get blue fall out down my cheeks that's one of my main worries with blue you can get away with fallout with any other shade but blue you just look like a weird alien if you get fallout down your face don't you yeah i think that was all right though so i'm just taking my time just to build that up bit by bit i don't want to go in too hard as i say because that's when fallout city can happen although these aren't really fallout heavy so far but you just never know when you start do you and i always like to do my 
foundation first if I've got the choice. So just where it meets that brown, I'm just kind of blending it in. And it doesn't really matter if it goes muddy because brown is muddy anyway, isn't it? So that sort of thing's never worried me anyway. I like weird and grungy colour combinations in any case. I think this is going to work out all right. I do want to make sure though that we keep a an extended sort of shape here. So I'm just using this is just a brow brush really. I'm just using that just to drag things out just a little. A little bit of that blue and just flicking motions just to drag it out. But we're dragging out rather than up this time. like that so far. I think I'm going a bit down on that side though and a bit up on that side. Ah, uh, it's not perfect. All right, now I just want to blend this brown because I'll put it there just to like deepen the crease but I don't want it to be as harsh as this so I'm just going to blend it a bit and then I'm going to use some blue above that just to give us a little bit of a gradient. But no additional product here, I'm just blending what's already there. I'm going to go into Snow Benny, so this one here, and blend above that brown. Just want a little halo of blue there. I don't want too much of it. Just hope this is going to work. I think it will. It's helping to give a bit more of a blended look to that crease at least. Because it's such a pale colour, you can't go too wrong. Because I was thinking of using the Snowmad shade, but that could get out of control really quickly. So I think this shade is perfect. Just going to take my time to build this up bit by bit by bit until I get the intensity of the blue that I want on this top line here. Now I don't mind the fact that we've got kind of a harsh line here because I wanted to keep it kind of graphic. I am trying to keep it a bit more blended or it goes over my lid if that makes sense. So I'm just working it in a lot more in this area here. This might be the way for me to wear blue. I think blue and brown makes it a lot more accessible. A lot less scary. Just going to build up that snowmad shade just a little bit more in this outer corner now. Okay, now I'm going in with my trusty NYX glitter primer and cutting out the majority of the lid space there. Just stopping where I've got this blue starting in this outer corner. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the bronze and I'm going to start that just in this outer corner here where the blue is. And that's the shade So Amused. <laughs> I love the shade names in this palette. I think that's one thing that Nomad does do so well. They think of everything. So much love and attention and care goes into every release. I'm going to do that sort of on a diagonal. And only in this outer corner here. It's a pretty glitzy, reflective bronzy shade though, really pretty. You could quite easily do a neutral leaning look with this palette and it looked really, really special, I think. Okay, next we're going in with the blue and I want to use black comb for that, so the deeper blue here. I'm going to take that in the centre part here, and probably two thirds of the way across. But I might go most of the way across. It's such a pretty shade. Wow. What an unexpected pop of the bronze in the outer corner that you just wouldn't expect to be there. So I'm going most of the way across the lid. 
I'm tempted to go all the way with that blue and not put any in a corner in. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go all the way. All the way to this inner part with that blue. Yeah, I think that was a good decision. Oh, such a beautiful glitzy blue. Right, I'm going to take the shade Ski Bum in the inner corner and I'm also going to put some of it under here as well. I'm just doing a very light touch of that just in that inner corner and kind of into the lower lash line. Just to kind of wrap things around my tear duct really. Alright, I'm going to use a liner brush. I'm going to load it up with that Ski Bum shade which is the, the light blue here going to spray it and then I'm going to make a bit of a, a liner just here. So just under that line there. Almost going to clean up the line but with that, that ski bum shade. Just to give that hint of sparkle just in the outer corner. I think it's working more on this side, you can really see it on this side. want too much of that, just a hint, just so that when it catches the light it's just something just slightly different in the outer corner. Okay so that's the look to this point, just gonna hop off camera for mascara and a lip and I'll be back with you to show you the finished look. Okay guys so this is the finished look, I hope you like it, I really like this one, I think the shape combined with putting the blue with the bronze, it really like makes blue wearable for me because although you guys know I like a variety of different colours and I'm quite vibrant with my makeup, blue isn't really my first choice of eyeshadow, you guys know that if you've been following me for a while and to make it wearable I think that bronze really just like balances the blue. If I'm wearing blue, I like it to be more in the royal blue to navy blue, those sort of, you know, more richer shades of blue, like the colour of my top and darker. And so it's got those shades in the palette. And I think the lid shade, what was that one called now? Yeah, black comb. That one's just really, really special. It's got lots of like glittery particles without being glittery, you know, it's got that glitziness about it. And combined with that, so a moussed shade. It's an unusual combination, but I think it really works. So yeah, I enjoyed creating this one. For my lips today, I've gone with Chrome Bronze from Anastasia because it's an excuse to wear a bronze metallic lip and I think it matches the vibe of the look that I was going for perfectly. So this was from Anastasia's collection of liquid lips from a couple of years ago. I seem to have stopped doing these collections where they've got 10 of the lipsticks, but I've got a lot of lipsticks from Anastasia from collecting those and I just love a metallic lip. And for my lashes, I've gone for Bad Girl Bang in blue. I've got a mini of that. And I just thought it just brought out a little bit of more of the blue because in for a penny, in for a pound, right? So my thoughts on the, the palette. Well, I think you guys know it's difficult for me to be objective about Nomad because I just love them so much as a brand. But having said that, I think this is just a magical colour story. It evokes that kind of snow and winter, but also some cosiness that you could imagine in the lodge. And they just think their colour stories out so, so well. But I think the formula has gotten so much better over the time as well. Like those shimmers, as I say, they're multi-dimensional, glitzy, without glitter particles to rain down your face at all. There was no fallout on that blue. Yeah, I mean, I've only dipped into what have I used four or five, five shades I think. But yeah, super impressed so far, really happy to own it. I wanna do something a lot more like warm and cozy vibes I think with it, perhaps combine the gold and the pinky shade and that for fox sake because that's just such a, a fantastic name and a, a bit of a unique kind of tone in that shade as well. So yeah, beautiful palette, really happy I got it and really enjoyed creating the look for you guys. So you'll have to let me know if you've got this palette, do you want to see more looks with it? I'm going to be doing it anyway, I think, but I'd love to know if you'd like to see more looks. And what kind of shapes and, and colour combinations do you want to see? I'd love to know. Give me a challenge. Tell me what to put together out of this palette and I'll do it for you guys. So let me know. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you might consider subscribing before you go. 
hope you're keeping safe and well hope you didn't get affected too much by the wind but as i say just stay safe guys and i'll see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>